On June 20th, 2019, Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps IRGC, shot down a United States RQ-4A Global Hawk BAMS-D surveillance drone. As per reports, Kordad-3 surface-to-air missile was used to bring down the drone over the Strait of Hormuz. Iranian officials claim that the drone violated their airspace, while U.S. representatives claim that the drone was in international airspace. Russia has taken Iran's side when it comes to the location of the shootout, whereas France has said that its intelligence corroborates American analysis. A single RQ-4A Global Hawk costs $131.4 million, excluding R&D expenses. This makes it pricier than an F-35, which now costs around $90 million and ten times the price of drones like the Predator and Reaper. Many reports in mainstream media, especially in the West, have picked up on this and seem to be creating a lot of hype with regard to Iran's military capability. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why Iran downing an American RQ-4 Global Hawk means nothing when it comes to real combat. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer All Defense Updates viewers a special bonus which will grant you a free premium tank or aircraft and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. The Northrop Grumman RQ-4 Global Hawk is an unmanned UAV surveillance aircraft. The Global Hawk performs duties similar to that of the Lockheed U-2. The RQ-4 provides a broad overview and systematic surveillance using high-resolution synthetic aperture radar SAR, and long-range electro-optical infrared EOIR, sensors. It is capable of taking high-definition and infrared images as well as can intercept telephone and radio chatter. Global Hawk has a range of more than 12,000 nautical miles or 22,200 kilometers, can fly at very high altitudes of 60,000 feet and can keep loitering for around 34 hours without break. It can survey as much as 40,000 square miles or 100,000 square kilometers of terrain a day. This is equivalent to the size of South Korea or Iceland. Global Hawk has no offensive capabilities and is dedicated to intelligence gathering. But in a conflict, RQ-4 Global Hawk is not what Iran will face. US will deploy F-22 Raptor. F-35 Lightning II and B-2 Spirit. The Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II, which is a single-seat, single-engine, all-weather, stealth, multi-role fighter, is undergoing final development and testing by the United States. F-35's stealthy design makes it capable of functioning in extremely high-threat environments and initiate attack even against advanced enemy air defenses. It is capable of deploying a wide range of weapons that include smart bombs and anti-radiation weapons. F-22 Raptor is the first operational aircraft to combine supercruise, supermaneuverability, sensor fusion and stealth in a single platform. Supercruise is the ability to have sustained supersonic flight without having to use the highly inefficient afterburners. With this, F-22 can intercept targets which subsonic aircraft would lack the speed to pursue and an afterburner-dependent aircraft would lack the fuel to reach. Apart from the excellent performance matrix, F-22 also has very strong stealth characteristics. Because of all this, it is actually considered to be the most potent fighter jet in the world. The B-2 Spirit was developed to take over the United States Air Force's high-value penetration missions. It is able to travel deep into enemy territory and unleash its weapons payload which could include nukes. The B-2 is a flying wing aircraft, meaning it has no fuselage or tail. The incorporation of low observable technologies with high aerodynamic efficiency and large payload makes B-2 Spirit the most potent bomber in the world. 
there's still no operational bomber that possesses capabilities like the B-2. Let us now check three reasons why shooting down these platforms will be a totally different ball game when compared to our Q-4 Global Hawk. Global Hawk is a pretty big drone. It has a wingspan of more than 130 feet. To give viewers a perspective, this is similar to a Boeing 737 passenger jet. Our Q-4 Global Hawk is not designed to be stealthy, and with the large size, it has a very big radar cross-section RCS. This makes it vulnerable to a modern air defense system. But F-22 Raptor, F-35 Lightning II, and B-2 Spirit are tailored to be stealthy and have very small RCS. This makes it very hard for air defense systems to target these. It's to be noted that just detecting the aircraft won't do. It's important to have continuous tracking that can guide a missile to the aircraft. Many new radars are now able to detect stealth aircraft, but there are very few that can track these. Global Hawk is not meant to dogfight. It has a top speed of 391 miles per hour or 629 kilometers per hour and very low maneuverability. B-2 Spirit has decent maneuverability, at least far better than a Global Hawk. F-35 may not be very good when it comes to maneuverability as compared to a few other modern fighters, but it's still far ahead of the game when compared to a drone like Global Hawk. F-22 is one of the most agile fighter jets. Its maneuverability is at the top of the stack and is demonstrated by its ability to pull off Pugachev's Cobra maneuver. Pugachev's Cobra is a demanding maneuver in which an airplane flying at a moderate speed suddenly raises the nose to the vertical position and slightly beyond like a Cobra's hood before dropping it back to normal flight. This requires impressive engine thrust to maintain approximately constant altitude through the entire move. B-2 Spirit flies at high subsonic speed, whereas F-35 and F-22 are capable of supersonic speed. The much better speed and maneuverability mean that the American offensive fleet will be harder to knock down when compared to a remotely controlled platform like Global Hawk. This is because they can take evasive actions when targeted by surface-to-air missile. An electronic countermeasure ECM, is a mechanism designed to trick or deceive radar. It may be used both offensively and defensively to deny targeting information to the enemy. The system may make many separate targets appear to the enemy, or make the real target appear to disappear or move about randomly. This kind of system can also jam enemy sensors by overloading them with too much information. ECM can be used effectively to protect aircraft from surface-to-air missile. ECM is not available to Global Hawk, but elaborate ECM capability is deployed by F-22 Raptor, F-35 Lightning II, and B-2 Spirit. With ECM, the American offensive force will be able to evade Iran's missile defense. Iran has several types of air defense systems that include indigenous ones as well as foreign origin. It has recently showcased Kordad 15, which is thought to be far more advanced than the Kordad 3. Apart from these, Iran also has Russian made S 300, which is its most potent air defense system. S 300 can be equipped with radars that are claimed to have the capability to detect even stealthy aircraft. It's not known that those radars actually work properly and if Russia has provided them to Iran or not. Iran is thought to possess four batteries each of S-300P and S-300PMU-2. But the overall picture can be very well deciphered. Iran has successfully shot down something that was not equipped to penetrate the area that's defended by decent air defense. The downing shows that Iran's military is not to be taken lightly but it doesn't mean it will be able to overpower an American aerial onslaught. American military not only has the hardware platforms that are capable of dealing with these kind of threats, but also have very well-trained pilots and mission planners who know exactly how to exploit the vulnerabilities of enemy defenses. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. 
hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.